right, so the evil troll is spinning ahead around. So we need ex centripetal acceleration. Well, there's two ways of doing it. You could solve for linear velocity first with that equation, and then figure out acceleration by v squared over r. Once you solve for velo once you get velocity here, plug it in there, and then plug in and get your answer. Or we can remember that there's a formula for centripetal acceleration with the period in it, because we are given the period of 0.5 seconds. So the other way we can do it is 4 pi squared r over t squared. The answer we plug in, so we have 4 pi squared times our radius of 0.75 divided by our period, which is 0.5 squared. Now, for A, that's all we need to do. Now, what about for B? Well, B is centripetal force. And if we know that centripetal force, or regular force, is equal to mass times acceleration, centripetal force is equal to mass times centripetal acceleration. So, there's a formula that if we just put a mass in front of our acceleration, multiply a mass in front of it, we will get our force. So, if our mass is 2 kilograms, we will just have 2 to multiply before we start with the pi squared, so on and so forth, and we'll get our answer. Plug and chug, and there you'll be.